Hi, I'm Matt from CAD Global. Since 2010, we've helped thousands of clients choose the best CAD and 3D software. Today, we're putting Google AI Studio to the test with AutoCAD to see if it can truly replace CAD Global Instructor. Our designer, Sarah, is stepping up to the challenge she's an Adobe and Canva expert with no prior AutoCAD experience, and she will be using the AutoCAD trial unregistered version because Autodesk still didn't provide us with testing software. Can Google AI Studio guide her through tasks like printing in Autodesk AutoCAD 2025, import IFC into AutoCAD, converting a PDF to DWG in AutoCAD 2025? Let's find out and see if Google AI Studio is a better instructor than the CAD Global team. To start using AutoCAD's free trial in Google AI Studio, simply follow links in the video description. Once you're on the AI Studio site, log in with your Google account and click on Stream Real Time to begin. Before getting started, you can also customize settings like output format and voice preferences to enhance your experience. There are three ways to interact with Google AI Studio. Chat mode, similar to ChatGPT. Gemini mode, where you can use your phone or computer camera. Screen sharing, which is what we'll be using today. Hello. Hello, I see you are using Google AI Studio. Is there anything I can help you with regarding that? Yes, can you see my screen right now? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you are using Autodesk AutoCAD and have a floor plan open. Is there anything specific you'd like to discuss about it? Yes, so I want to print this drawing. Can you please show me a step-by-step -step procedure on how do I do that? Sure, I can help you with that. To print your AutoCAD drawing, first, click the application menu. It is the big A icon at the top left corner. Then select Print and then Plot. A plot dialog box will then appear, where you can select your printer, paper size, and plot area, and other options. After setting these up, click on Preview to check before finally clicking Plot to start the printing process. Is there any specific step you need more information about? Yes. So first of all, uh, what is this area here? Page setup. Do I need to do anything to that? The page setup section is used to manage the plot settings, such as name, printer, and paper size. It's not required to change anything, but you might want to create a new name setup if you're planning to print with different options frequently. Do you want to configure a page setup for this print? No, no, thank you. Okay, then let's move on to the next step. After selecting your printer, paper size, and setting the plot area, you can preview how the drawing will look like. Would you like to proceed with the preview or adjust some other settings before printing? Uh, what is this area here? Printer plotter name? Do I have? Do I need to change this to something? The printer slash plotter area shows the current printer selected. You might need to change it if it's not the printer you want to use for this print job or if the current printer doesn't have the required settings or drivers. Do you want to change the printer setting right now? Um, yes, so I want to save it to PDF. So I will put it here. No, I will put it to high quality print. Okay, so you want to save it as a PADF using the high quality print option. Now that you've selected the desired printer, which is the AutoCAD PDF high quality, you can move on to the other print options like plot area and plot scale. Do you need any help with setting that up? Yes, so I want this printed on uh, uh, A3 paper size. Okay, you would like to print on A3 paper size. You can adjust the paper size setting in the paper size drop down menu. After changing the paper size, you may want to adjust the plot area as well. Would you like to discuss that? Uh, yes. Okay, I see that you have selected the A3 paper size. The plot area setting determines which part of your drawing will be printed, with options like display, extents, or window. What would you like to choose as the plot area? I think this is okay. Okay, uh, can I preview it? Yes, you can preview it. To do so, just click the preview button located on the bottom left corner of the window. 
This will let you see what the printed drawing will look like before you finalize the process. Would you like to preview now? Yes, so I would like this to be a little bit smaller and centered. How do I achieve that? Certainly. To make the drawing smaller and centered, you'll need to adjust the plot scale and plot offset options. In the plot dialog box, select fit to paper in the what to plot dropdown to scale your print to fit within the selected paper size. After that, select center the plot to center the image. Do you want to proceed with these changes? Oh, so I want to make it smaller, then I should write in maybe like 0 0.8. Okay, you're choosing to set a custom scale. If you'd like to scale your drawing to 0 0.8, you can input 0 0.8 in the scale box under the scale setting, while also keeping center the plot checked. Would you like to try the preview again after this? Yes, this is great. Okay, so how do I print it now? Now that you are satisfied with the preview, you can print the drawing by clicking the OK button. The OK button is located at the bottom of the plot dialog box. Is there anything else I can help with? Mm, no, I think that's it. So I just saved the PDF and that's it. I print it after that. That was great. Thank you. You were very helpful. You're welcome. If you need more help with AutoCAD or anything else, feel free to ask. I will. Bye. Hi. Hi there. Is there anything I can help you with today? Yes. Uh, so first of all, can you see okay. my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you have AutoCAD open. Yes, so I want to import an IFC file into AutoCAD uh, 2025. Uh, can you guide me please with some step-by-step -step instructions of the process? Sure, I can help with that. To import an IFC file into AutoCAD 2025, first you'll need to go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. Then select Import and choose the IFC file type. Finally, Browse to the location of your IFC file and click Open. Is there anything else you would like to know? Uh, there is no IFC file option here. I have other formats. Do I click on that? Okay, it looks like the IFC option is not directly available under the Import menu. Instead, try clicking Other Formats and see if the IFC option is available within that menu. Great. It seems that the IFC file has been imported. Do you need any further assistance with anything else? I don't see an, any file here. Why? Is it even possible to import an IFC format? Because I don't even see it. Uh, I don't see it here. You are correct. It appears that the IFC file format is not directly listed in the Files of Type dropdown. To import an IFC file into AutoCAD, you might need to download and install the Autodesk Infrastructure Modeler plugin for AutoCAD. After that, the IFC option should be available. Would oh. you like me to help you with the process? So right now, I don't even have a possibility to enter to import an IFC format. Is that right? You're correct. You cannot directly import an IFC file through the standard import dialog. You may need to install the Autodesk Infrastructure Modeler plugin for AutoCAD, as I mentioned before. This plugin will add the capability to import IFC files. Once installed, you should be able to import an IFC file through the steps we previously discussed by going to the Insert tab, then clicking Import. Would you like more assistance with that? No, that will be all for now, but thank you. You helped. You're very welcome. Feel free to ask if you have any more questions in the future. Hi. Hi there, how can I help you today? Uh, so can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you have AutoCAD open. Yes. 
So I want to convert the PDF file to DWG format here in AutoCAD. Can you show me a step-by-step -step procedure on how do I do that? Sure, I can help you with that. To convert a PDF file to DWG format in AutoCAD, you would typically use the PDF import feature. However, I am unable to give you a visual step-by-step -step procedure at this time. Do you want me to explain that option in more detail? Uh, yes, then you can guide me on how to how do I achieve this. Okay, so first, in AutoCAD, you'll need to go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. Then select PDF Import. Then, you will be prompted to select the PDF file you want to convert. And once you select that file, you can specify some options on the Import PDF dialog box, like what page to import, the scale, and the layer you want it on. Is there anything unclear about those steps? Okay, so I placed my PDF here. Uh, do you suggest some maybe editing to all of these files? Do I need to click on something? Yes, I see the import PDF dialog box on your screen. Under import options, I see the option join line and arc segments, which is a good option to select when converting a PDF to a DWG format because it will try to connect the lines and arcs of the original image and make them actual objects instead of individual lines and arcs. Also, the convert solid fills to hatches is usually useful too. Once you have made the choices you want in this window, you can then click on the OK button. Do you have any other questions? OK. I clicked OK. What now? Oh, now I'm waiting. All right. OK, and AutoCAD is importing the PDF and converting it into DWUG objects. Depending on the complexity of the PDF file, this can take a little bit of time, so you'll just have to wait until the progress bar on the bottom right is finished. Do you have any questions while we wait? No, uh, it's great. Thank you. You've been helpful. Great. I'm glad I could help. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Not for now. Bye-bye. We have a simple unfinished blueprint of a building that we want to import in ProjectCAD or AutoCAD and work on it. Upon opening ProjectCAD we just click the top left icon and select PDF to DWG. Here we put our PDF file source destination and under it our export destination of our converted WG file. If you have multiple PDF files click on the batch option. For one file click on single file option. Let's select our single PDF file. Right away it is shown in the preview window below, where we can also see all the pages we have in our PDF file. On the right side of the window we can adjust some options. The first option is to choose in which layers we want to convert our PDF file to. We will select that the PDF layers are imported by color. Here we can choose what happens with our images from the PDF, our white space in the background, and here we can adjust our scale and rotation. Options Convert Range gives us the capability to convert multiple pages or just one desired page and how we will save them as DWG. Object Options are great for small adjustments. We will check this last one and write down 1mm because we want dashed lines converted as they are. In Advanced Settings we have some additional options for our drawing units, our character recognition, cropping boxes, output formats and some other fine adjustments. But for now, we do not need adjusting these. We will just click on OK and start our conversion. Our PDF file was successfully converted into DWG file. You can see that elements are editable now so we can work on our file in ProjectCAD AutoCAD or another DWG CAD program. Download ProjectCAD for free on our website cadglobal.xyz. Just click on the link and choose your country. For more videos like this, hit the like button. If you have any questions about PDF to DWG conversion or perpetual CAD life, thank you for watching.